Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dragon Deer Outdoors Sunday night devotional, but we're going to be doing this on Friday, so I guess it'll be just the weekend devotional. Um, and the one, guys, I wanted to pick from this week, even though I know this week isn't over, is actually yesterday, so Thursday, July 25th. Um, and I apologize you guys for missing last week, and honestly been a little uh, slack and a little bit on some of the, just the regular hunting related content. Um, Unfortunately, my grandmother passed away uh, early this week, and her funeral was yesterday. So I would appreciate prayers for uh, for our family. Um, everyone is is doing well given the circumstances and stuff. My grandma was an amazing person; almost made it to ninety two. And um, this verse that I think not only applied to the day yesterday, and I thought it was just awesome that. God kind of put this in front of us on the day of her funeral, but I think it applies to a lot of um, a lot of stuff when it comes to timing, the timing of things. So that verse from yesterday was from Acts chapter 7, verse 25, and it reads, Moses thought that his own people would realize that God was using him to rescue them, but they did not. And so when you kind of read that, um, you know, I didn't exactly get... Uh, the timing of things from you know just that particular verse but the thoughts from verse of the day on this one they were really good so those thoughts were timing can be everything well maybe not everything but an important thing God's plan and power provide us with everything finding God's timing and power for his plan is crucial when Moses took it upon himself to redeem God's people before God called him to do so Moses failed after being humbled in the wilderness for 40 years, God then called Moses back to deliver the people from Israel at God's divine moment and according to the Almighty's plan. The result led to the Exodus, the redemption and rebirth of God's holy people from Egyptian bondage. Let's pray for wisdom to understand God's timing so we can live out our lives for His purpose, according to His plan, and based on His power. So I thought that was really cool. Um, because with yesterday, you know, my grandma being almost 92, it wasn't like it was a, a shock because of her age. Um, but we were surprised just because she was still in great physical condition. She was still at home by herself. She was still gardening and, and doing all the things that she loved, being outside, um, getting around and stuff. Um, so the fact that she you know, passed peacefully in her sleep just one night was kind of a an eye-opening thing for us. Um, but it kind of comes back to, you know, the timing of things. Like, we, we will never, I don't think, fully comprehend why God's timing is the way it is with, for, you know, the instance that I'm using here, the, the death of a loved one. Uh, but it could be anything. It could be, you know, um, I don't know, that job that you're just grinding and really wanting to move to the next level or, or find a new job. Um, it could be, you know, moving or finding a house. It could be having a child, um, you know, giving, you know, starting a family, giving birth to children, all those types of things where sometimes, you know, the timing of them is not what we want. I mean, oftentimes it's not what we want. And I find that. And, it can be frustrating or you could be mad at God. Like, I think he understands that. Um, and I think, you know, we, we just have to trust that his timing, like this verse says, is perfect. You know, first time Moses uh, kind of went out and was doing his thing, it wasn't according to God's plan and he failed. I mean, we do that all the time as well. But when we kind of step back we, we trust God's timing. We, we pray like he knows what we want. He knows what's on our heart. He knows when we're happy, sad, when we're grieving. You know, he is in tune and touch with all of that. And we don't have to understand why his timing is what it is or, or what it is not. We have to understand that it is perfect. And at the right time, um, according to his plan, those things will line up. And I think a lot of times, too, in instances like... Um, when it comes to timing, you know, we're, we're upset or we're frustrated or we're praying about something really hard. We, we want something or we're trying to achieve something. Or we feel like we're doing it, you know, we're praying about it. We're doing it, um, you know, for God's purpose or it's a, 
they're all good intentions and stuff and we get frustrated when it doesn't work out um just knowing uh that when it does work out um and you do see that perfect timing and then when you look back you know years later months later whatever it is i think you kind of realize why the timing was what it was um at least i have found that i have found that in instances in my life where things didn't work out i was upset um but continued to pray and then when it did happen and things came together and you know you look back on it now you're like man like i kind of get it now i kind of get why i needed to go through x y or z where growth opportunities were um and how ultimately in the end yeah his timing was perfect and mine was not so just remember be be patient be trustworthy and just know that no matter what the circumstances is that uh that you're going through or that you're praying about or that you're trying to achieve or you know that you're grieving upon whatever that is um you don't have to i guess understand why god's timing is what it is you just have to trust that it's perfect and i think eventually uh you will you will be able to look back and understand why it is that he timed things up the way he did so let me close this you guys with the with the prayer from uh from this verse of the day dear heavenly father i am often impatient and frustrated by having to wait please forgive me dear god for trying to rush your timetable and assuming my plan is yours please give me spirit-led wisdom to know what to do where to go and when to act in jesus name i pray for this patience and understanding amen so i hope you guys enjoyed this one because i certainly did um and again hopefully this is cool we're doing it on friday uh, i just won't be able to do it on sunday but i wanted to get something out because i missed last week so Hope you enjoy this. Hope you guys continue to follow along on Verse of the Day. I love seeing uh, some of the posts or some of the notes that I get from you guys where you are following along or you are, um, uh, you know, actively using this. Like I was really happy because when I read this one, I thought it was great. And my mom uh, has been following along. She posted this on Facebook too, uh, that right before we went to grandma's funeral. So I know that she found peace in this uh, as well as I did. Um, but yeah, definitely you guys keep following along. It's a great easy daily Bible verse. If you haven't even checked it out yet, I've got a link down below in the description. I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend out there. Take care, be safe, God bless, and we'll see you guys soon on another Dragon Deer Outdoors devotional.